Here, take a bone. You don't want it? There you go. Good girl. Don't drop it. All right, good. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, great day, as you guys see in the title. Doing a lot of things today. Checking out a storage auction later in the day. We're going garbage picking probably in about five minutes, and I'm working on a declutter order as well. So this whole order right now stands at 30 bucks. Uh, a lot of these DVDs are like really DVDs like I would just like, I don't even know if I'd really, well, some of these you can probably donate, but it's not something I would sell at the flea market. So you got like Bedtime with Elmo, got a lot of Body by Bethany, a lot of workout stuff, core salsa you want to get delivered as well. You look ecstatic right now. The weird thing about like declutter is I think this movie they're giving me like two dollars and fifty cents for. So that's why there's like thirty bucks here is because a lot of this stuff or a couple of these items they're giving me more than fifty cents. I got a couple CDs as well. These CDs just you know orchestra. Not the hottest item right now in the flea market world, not the hottest item on eBay. So they're giving me like two or three bucks for some CDs and some DVDs, which is nice about declutter is like you can have a couple of those and you would never know it. And if you're selling this stuff two for a dollar, now you can really make some money. So um, you add up a couple of those three dollar items and it's, it's well worth buying box lots and stuff like that. So there's 30 bucks right there. I do have a bunch of more DVDs and CDs I want to go through. So I was hoping to kind of fill up the other side, maybe get an order of 60, 70 dollars out. So that's that. Um, but let's get into the day. Let's start out. Let's do some trash picking. Then we're going to check out an auction and then we'll do a storage auction. Right now, when I checked last or when they emailed me last, there's totally six, I think, available. So we'll see how many are actually available for sale today. Let's do it. So you got a small pallet right over there. Yeah, wooden, like a shipping crate. Looks like I spot some metal up there, possibly. I should pull up closer. There's no reason to park over there. Good old scrap life. Oh, it's a little safe. I thought it was possibly a little toolbox. But I guess not. That's part of that. <laughs> Almost grabbed the garbage can wheel. can't tell. These might be good old aluminum. Of course, there's boxes in the road. Put that over there. Head down that road. There she is. Where's your brakes? You have no brakes on this? It's a huffy. No brakes on the bike. Oh, funny thing is, I didn't even know, it, but like if you, if you pedal like kind of like backwards, apparently that's a brake on some of these bikes. I didn't know that until someone told me that like in person. Uh, if you guys might remember, I picked up like a banana seat bike a long time ago. I was like, the brakes don't work. There's no brakes. And they're like, yeah, you have to pedal the back way. Like, <laughs> you must be too young to know that. <coughs> I am. I really did not even know that at all. All right. 
it's a decent bike. A lot of rust on it, but she might still work. Chilly. All right. Let's see this nice industrial style chair over here. Gotta get rid of the paint so that, oh, that didn't work. Nope. Either I have a matching set or I can sell one. Alright, so the last road uh, I saw the garbage men coming down, so I think we're heading off to the auction. I'll stop off there quickly. And hopefully grab some things and then we'll head off to the storage auction. So this is the inside stuff. So this stuff goes off, you know, in a while, like four hours. So I'm not going to be here for this, but always like to come in here and see what's, what's available. A lot of Star Wars guys. Some China. Lampshade, stuff like that. You got some toy things. There's a nice candy mold over here, which I kind of like. This thing's really cool. It's got some weight to it. These guys are concrete. They're pretty cool. Some gnomes. horse right here which I really like but even if I did win him what would I do with him he's not going up for sale for probably another two months I bet I don't know what that would fetch a couple thousand at least it does have a crack right there first box probably be the only box maybe I'll buy a couple more items here there's not really much I bought a box of jars for four dollars um, what I do with these is uh, these I have the zinc lids for. So I always try to pick up the lids because you you know these things go really cheap if you don't have the lids for sale. So I throw lids on them and sell them for like three bucks a piece. Generally the going rate for them. And then I also need smaller jars. So these are quart size uh, to put like costume jewelry and marbles and stuff like that and stuff that wouldn't really sell in trays. You know, new marbles. You throw them in a jar, people like the way it looks and they sell. But I don't want to use blue jars for that. I wanted to use the clear ones. And the only clear ones I had were uh, the ones that were much bigger. I don't know if they're half gallon or, or what. So with smaller ones, it'll work out better. So overall, good buy there. So made it home. Uh, yeah. I gotta put that in the garage, it's all scrap metal buckets. That I gotta bring to the warehouse whenever I go to the warehouse next cause that I'm saving for fleet market season. Um, I don't think it's a reproduction, but it would've been a lot nicer if that was, that uh, that color was yellow. It, it's like a faded yellow, like really, really faded yellow. The pond is back in my driveway this morning, it was frozen, so this is not like this at all. And I am looking for my locks. I think they're in here. Oh, there they are. One. Two and three. So that's hoping that there's at least three lockers for sale. Uh, I think I did actually buy some other locks. So I'm throwing this into my Jeep. Put this in the back. Oh, well, I did buy locks. Maybe they're up front. I don't know where they're at. Yeah, so I got three. 
Last time I bought three lockers, it took me like six days to clear out and I was in pain for like two weeks straight. So I don't think I'd ever buy more than three. It's a lot of work for one person. So I think three is enough. But if I have more locks in there, I'll grab it. I'll catch up with you guys at uh, at the storage auction. Let's head over there. I'm, I'm home. I'm going to quickly let salsa out and see you guys over there. all right so uh that was very disappointing we have one more facility i gotta go to uh maybe i'll record a little bit over there but um it's uh it is what it is the first locker sold for i think 310 dollars 320 dollars a little bit out of my price range uh people were talking about there were some good things that i, I clearly missed um the second locker sold for 50 and then i just bid up the last locker to 160 dollars it was all shelving units uh but like those plastic shelving units you know like the white ones that stack and you like put the tubes on the side and then you have a flat piece and you put other tubes and you can like pretty much make it as tall as you want i don't really need the shelving units there was a lot of stuff in there a lot of stuff that looked interesting sold for like 140 160 i don't even know what it sold for kind of disappointing but it is what it is head off to the other facility hopefully grab one there if the prices stay at you know a couple hundred dollars a, a locker it's going to be kind of tough you know you're going from five ten dollar lockers twenty five dollar lockers to you know three hundred it, it's rough uh and especially at this time now is the time where you have to store it so eh, it is what it is see you guys over there I think they paved it, be all right. All right, give it a little test run. So I just bought a locker for 10 bucks, and this was in it, and he wanted to buy it for five, so I just gave it to him for five bucks. Is it two? Change the cut to two? Change the cut? Well, you're going to have to buy one if you cut it. Put it in the back of that truck so you don't fall out. <laughs> Strap it down. You're not gonna get it, man. All right, go ahead. Oh, what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, this guy's going to probably hate me because I'm dropping off more stuff. That guy, he's pretty cool. Cool people over here, but uh, yeah, you just gotta drop off some stuff. So like in the summer, wow, that's, huh. It's the problem if you own a thrift shop is you end up with like a lot of that kind of stuff. Just clutter. There's one thing I'd ever do. If I ever owned a thrift store, I would own a thrift store outlet store. I don't think that would solve the problem in terms of like um, having a lot of garbage left over. I think it would solve the problem of just having a lot of bulk. You guys probably came and see me. You're looking right at the sun. So I'll just talk like this. Um, I think what happens is you'll get a lot of donations of people 
Hey, hey, you know, I see this happen with the YouTube channel. You know, I, I get a lot of people who say, you know, I should pick up this, pick up that. A lot of this stuff is just, it, it's valuable at one time, but it's not valuable on the resale market, on the secondhand market. It has no monetary value to it. So there's a lot of things that just end up being garbage just because to, to find the right buyer isn't worth the whole hassle of, you know, storing it and trying to sell it and displaying it because, you know, items on shelves cost money. That's money that you could be making by selling something else. No different than if you sell at the flea market. If you can substitute things that don't sell or need the right buyer with something that will sell, you know, is it worth it to be selling one thing as opposed to another? So some with that, it, it they have a lot of stuff. All right, so it's going to kind of wrap it up here for today's video. It's about 4.30 right now. Um, I'm going to stop off. Jimmy's Hot Dogs is right here. Local Easton place, Easton, Pennsylvania. Hot dog stand, hot dog restaurant, whatever you like to call it. Uh, get dinner there. Uh, I did sell that guy gold today. You guys might remember a while back I told you guys I was waiting. I had some gold saved up, some like jewelry. Finally sold it. I had about $223 in terms of the gold value, uh, in terms of market value. He offered me 200, which well his price was 198. He said he'll just round up to 200 bucks. He only makes 20 dollars. It's a great way to get rid of jewelry and stuff like that. If you don't have someone who will give you market value of gold, which is really really hard. Uh, I know pawn shops generally I think give you about 50 percent or 60 percent of gold, so they would have offered me about 110. So definitely well worth it. Um, very pleased with that. Um, what else is going on? Oh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to clean out the storage lockers. I bought two. Both of the lockers that I bought, I did not take any footage of. So, you guys, if you saw any footage of lockers, none of them are the ones that I bought. Uh, one is really loaded, and the other one has a bunch of bicycles and a couch and some furniture. So, they'll be fun to do. Uh, I haven't went inside any of them. One guy bought that one piece, that green little, like, tricycle thing for five bucks. I was saying right in front. He said, you know, if you buy it, I'll give you five bucks. So I bought the locker for $10. He gave me five. Um, I then threw the auctioneer five bucks because there's, uh, you know, you have to pay 10% of, uh, there's a 10% buyer's premium, which goes to the auctioneer. Uh, so it was like $2. So it was two bucks. I ended up just giving him five bucks. It really didn't matter to me too much. Um, but yeah. We're going to check them out within the next couple days. I'll probably release the videos. I probably won't clean out the locker for the next couple days. I have a million things going on now with quarter four, really winding down the holiday season and everything else. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. If you want to see more videos just like this, definitely subscribe. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.